So this question has acetic acid in vinegar and it's doing a titration experiment where 5.54 grams of this vinegar sample is neutralized by 30.1 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So what's the percent mass of acetic acid in the vinegar? So what's the percent mass of this? Well, we hear the word neutralize. So when we say neutralize, that means the moles of our acid, which is simply protons, is going to equal the moles of our hydroxide ions, which is for our base. Well, let's make sure that this is monoprotic, diprotic, or triprotic. So we have one mole of CH3, COH, which is acetic acid, and we only need one mole of CH3COH because it's monoprotic and it's going to equal one mole of NaOH, right? So we have moles is equal to moles in order for a neutralization to happen. This is monoprotic and this is also like monohydroxy. So what we want to do is create a moles equals moles equation, right? Well, we also know moles is equal to molarity times liters. So we can manipulate that. So we can say the moles of this, so our moles of acetic acid, acid is equal to the molarity times liters of sodium hydroxide. So let's do that. So we have 0 0.0301 of, and zero here, for our milliliters times our 0 0.100 molar NaOH, so molar of NaOH, right? So the moles of acetic acid is equal to the molarity times the liters of our sodium hydroxide, and that gives us just 0 0.00301. And this is only three significant figures, we're only gonna stop there. So we have our moles of acetic acid. Well, that means we can also find our mass of acetic acid. So we have 0 0.00301 moles of acetic acid multiplied by our molar mass, which is 60.052 grams per mole. And this is acetic acid, right? So this gives us an answer of 0 0.181 grams. So we have 0 0.181 grams in this 5.54 gram sample. So let's find our percent mass. So our percent mass, so percent mass will just equal 0 0.181, so our part divided by our whole, which is 5.54, this is grams over grams, and then just multiply by 100%. And this gives us 3.26%. So to reiterate what we just did, we knew that acetic acid is monoprotic, so it produces one mole of protons for one mole of acetic acid. And we know that sodium hydroxide produces one mole of hydroxide ions for one mole of what it is. And so we set those equal to each other with this equation of moles is equal to molarity times liters. And so that way we can figure out how many moles of acetic acid we have depending on how many moles of sodium hydroxide we have. And we got this answer for moles, right? And then we had acetic acid in moles and we multiplied it by our molar mass and this gives us the amount of grams of acetic acid. So from there, if we have our grams, we can do our part of grams divided by the whole sample of grams. And then that whole sample is from vinegar. So this is our acetic acid, this is our vinegar. We multiply it by 100% and that gives us our percent composition of acetic acid in the vinegar.